Hi, I'm Laura from Creative Drawing Studio in London. We offer art classes for children and adults. In our 10 years of teaching, we have seen that drawing is a skill that anyone can learn. We're going to draw a wolf, and I will use a pencil and an eraser, but I'll also bring in a black felt tip pen so I can ink in my lines later. First, we'll draw an oval to get the size of the wolf's body. So I like to just lightly get that in there. And then we'll draw a circle somewhere up here for the wolf's head. And don't worry about proportions yet. We're just getting in the general shapes of the body. Now I'll place in a curvy line for the head and bring it down the body like this. Go right around that circle, come down for the neck and touch the oval come out for a bit of the tail. And that's the back of the body. This is going to be a howling wolf, so we'll point the nose up like this and come back around with a curvy line like that and down like this. Let's bring all the way to the circle and the bottom of the mouth will come out almost straight across. Let's put the chin with a curvy line underneath coming down at a bit of an angle and this wolf will have some teeth there. Let's add a nose with a curvy line like that. And it's got a thick furry neck, so we'll come down with a broken line like this. Now, because it's howling, the eyes are closed, so we'll put a straight line like that. And the ears will go back, so we'll draw a curvy line pointing down comes around like this and got a bit of the inside showing like that. Let's now place in the front leg here which will come straight down. Let's just use your eye for now without too much measuring like so and then a curvy line on the bottom for the front paw straight line underneath and we're going to go back up toward the oval to here and it gets a little bit wider toward the top of the leg. Now the leg behind it is just a little further back because it's on the other side. So let's place that paw in behind it just a bit up from the front paw with a curvy line like this and go back straight up, following the leg in front, and stopping here. Now, we're going to draw the underneath of the wolf, so you can make it a bit furry, a bit slimmer toward the back. About here, we'll need to place the hip. So we'll put a curvy line like this for the thigh, hip area, come back in toward an angle. Now I'd like to get the legs to line up so you can put a little guide dot about there so the legs are about the same length and then just come back in leaving room for the paw. straight along the bottom and then follow with a straight line for the back of the leg. There. Now we'll draw the leg on the other side which is curvy line going around like this and just follow it a little bit up a 
doesn't stop like that. The last bit of this wolf is the tail, and they have a fluffy tail. So if I draw the inside of the tail first, I can then join it up for the back. And there's our howling wolf. Now we can erase the oval like this. This way we have the pencil lines that we like. And you can put some more little straight lines to show its coat. And you can also ink it in with a black felt tip marker to get your lines, and then you can erase the rest of your pencil lines. And then you can put your background. Maybe he's howling at the moon. And there's your wolf.